everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jules and on the channel I teach you guys how to sew. For all the old subscribers, hey, welcome back and for all the new subscribers, hi, wangwa and welcome to the channel. So for all of you that follow me on Instagram, then you might be aware of the mini series that will be taking place on the channel for summer. The name of the series is Bikini on a Budget. It's basically a series where I teach you how to make bikinis on a budget. <laughs> yeah. Just as easy as that so yes I am using a filter I know I'm using a filter people it is hot and I am ugly and the filter make me look like me going with something so I am going with it if you have a problem with it too bad for you okay so for the first episode in the series I'll be teaching you guys how to make a simple bikini it's basically a triangle bra and one of the bikinis bottoms that you just tie at the side and for any other bikinis that you guys are interested in learning to make then you can just jump into my DMs on Instagram and send me a picture and I'll be sure to feature that on the channel for the summer okay guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys learned something from the video let's get into it The first step in this process is to make a pattern for the breast piece and the bottom. So for the bottom, I basically used my favorite underwear to cut out a pattern for the back and the front piece of the underwear. And for the breast piece, I measured the length of what I wanted the bra to cover on my breast and the width of what I wanted it to cover. And then I basically did a triangle, but it's a little bit curved, not really a triangle, but nonetheless. Okay, so in total you need four pattern pieces, the front of the underwear, the back of the underwear, the strap, and the bra. Now, for the straps you're going to need seven, four for the underwear, and three for the bra. For the materials needed for this, you're going to need your stretch fabric, I recommend getting a half yard, your pattern pieces, your pins, and your matching thread. You're going to need your tape measure, and you're also going to need sponge. That's for the persons that have small breasts, like me. You definitely need some sponge to put some extra cushion on those <laughs> chest wounds. Okay, so once you've gotten your pattern pieces, then all you have to do is to fold your stretch fabric, put the pattern pieces on top, and cut it out. I would recommend leaving a half inch excess on the material so you have that to fold under when you're sewing it off. But if your intention is to make the bikini skimpy, then you can just go ahead, cut it out exact, and then fold under the piece from what you've already cut out. For me, I decided to sew the strings first, so I basically just got my matching thread, thread up my needle, and I started to sew that. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys a stitch that you can use um, if you're planning to hand sew. And if you're planning to use a machine, then you can just go ahead and do a straight stitch. I use red thread here so that you guys would be able to see what I'm doing. And I also slowed down the video so you guys can actually kind of catch the stitch that I'm doing there. If you can't get this technique, I also show another one after this that you can use to sew the strings. So this is the second technique that you can use to go ahead and sew the um, strings. You basically overlap the thread over the edge of the material. 
you can take a look at what I'm doing in the video just to get a better understanding of how to do this. Now once you've turned the material or the sewing, you can see that the stitch is barely visible and that's a red thread. Now you're supposed to be using matching thread to do it so because you want it to look neat. So imagine that you won't be able to see anything there. It's just going to look like you did it on a machine. Okay, so for the strings that I made, I decided to turn it using a screwdriver because that's what I had on hand. Now for you, you can use whatever you have on hand. You can use a you can use a pencil piece of metal anything that can actually fit through the strings that you decided to make depending on the size um, for mine I actually did my stitches on a machine because I was strapped for time and I wanted it to go faster so that's what I decided to do but if I had time I would choose to do it in my hand because that would make the strings more durable okay so the next thing that I did was to cut out the sponge that I'm gonna be putting in the breast part of the bikini because I don't have any titties. Okay, so the pattern that you use to cut the stretch fabric, that's the same pattern that you use to cut out the sponge. You can decide to keep it whole. You don't have to split it like I'm doing there. I just decided to do that because I wanted it, when I sewed it, I wanted it to have kind of a curve so that it cups my boob. But if you have a lot of titties, then you don't have to do that because you already have a lot of curves on your booze. <laughs> so you can just put the sponge in as it is. But if you're taking the route that I did, then you can follow what I'm doing in the video and go ahead and sew that up. Okay, so this is what they're gonna look like before you put them in. Now for the bra piece of the bikini, you actually have four triangles cut out to do the bra pieces. So you have it like what you see there. And I'm gonna be showing you how you go ahead to sew that. Okay, so first you go ahead and lay the fabric flat on the table with the pattern side facing upwards. Then you place the string on top of that and then you cover it with the other side of the material. Pattern side must be facing each other and then you go ahead and sew that around with a straight stitch. After that, you go ahead and place the sponge on top and then you're going to stitch it in place so it doesn't move before flipping over the material and putting that on the inside. After the sponge has been placed on the inside, you're going to do a large base stitch at the bottom just to hold the sponge in place so that you have the excess material at the bottom. So for that excess material at the bottom, what you're going to be doing is to fold it over to the side that you want to be concealed and you're going to go ahead and hem it if you're hand sewing. If you're not familiar with how to do a hem, you can continue watching the video to see how to do that. For those of you that are planning to use a machine, then you can just go ahead and do a straight stitch right there, right across the bottom. So I decided to insert a small clip of me using a yellow thread to do the hem so that you guys can see it better to try and understand how to do the hem if you're not already familiar with how to do that. So basically the intention is to make the sewing not visible on the outside. That's the pattern part that it's going to be showing. You don't want to have the stitch visible there. So you make sure that you only grab a little bit of the material on the side that's going to be concealed so that the needle doesn't go all the way through to the outside part that's patterned that will be on display. Okay. 
Once you're finished, then this is what the finished product should look like if you decided to use the hem. If you decided to use a straight stitch, then you'd be able to see the stitch right across. After that, you're going to get a common pin or a latch pin and you're going to go ahead and attach it to the string and you're going to insert it into the loop that's there. And you're going to go ahead and push the needle right through until it comes out on the other side. Then you repeat the process with the other breast piece. So well, this is what the finished top should look like minus the red and yellow thread that's there. You can go ahead and take those out after you're finished. Okay, now that we've completed making the top of the bikini, we're going to get started on the bottom of the bikini. First thing, we get the back pattern and the front pattern and we line them up together with the pattern side facing each other. And then we're going to go ahead and stitch the seat of the underwear if you're planning to make it like a regular underwear then you can also stitch the sides but for this video we're not going to be doing that since we're going with another style you can do the straight stitch that i showed you earlier in the video here or you can use your machine to just do a regular straight stitch Now the second step in making the underwear is going to be to insert the seats. Now this part is actually optional but I'm choosing to do it seen as I'm not lining the underwear. I think it's going to make it more comfortable so I decided to do that. I hemmed the small part of the lining before putting it down. That is also optional. And then I went ahead and trimmed it into place so it fits in perfectly with the rest of the bikini. And then I also went ahead to base it down so that it stayed in place while I was sewing. After basing down the seat, then you can go ahead and do your hem around the sides. That's where I'm pointing out there. And also around the back waistline and also the front waistline. You simply fold once and then you hem, you'll end up with what you're seeing there. After that, you'd repeat the same process for the waistline. I've pinned it there and then that's how it looks when it's hemmed. After doing that, then you're going to take care of the sides. Now, because I'm going to be inserting strings in the side of my bikini, I went ahead, fold over the edges and pin them in place and then I hemmed them down. And that's for all four edges before inserting the strings. So that's why I have four strings down there. Now these are going to be some pictures of me posing, well trying to pose in the bikini. This is what the finished products look like. Now if you haven't already then be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and you can also drop a comment down in the comment section and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already people subscribe subscribe subscribe. Thank you guys for staying tuned to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys actually learned something from the video now if anyone decides to go ahead and try to make the swimsuit then i hope you guys post it on your instagram and tag me in it so i can see it or you can send it to me personally i'd really want to see it if you guys actually go ahead and attempt to do it and if you're interested in this robe that i'm wearing then you can go ahead and check me out on Instagram. I'm going to be posting full pictures. The cost is $1,800 if you're interested. So you can hit me up over there. But I hope you guys enjoy yourself. And thank you for staying to the end of the video. Bye guys. Take care.